Hi, this is Mark Littleton, the minister of the Word for the Athens Church of Christ, with today's three-minute sermon. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and verse 11, the Apostle Paul writes these words, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. There are several things I think we can get from this passage as far as implications for our lives. When Paul says that we are to encourage one another, I think that tells us something about the nature of relationships that God wants us to have in our lives as Christ followers. We can't do one another's without having relationships with one another, right? You can't encourage one another if you don't have any connection with other people. And so I think that's one thing we get from this passage. God never has meant for us to follow His Son Jesus just kind of out there on our own, doing our own thing, just me and Jesus. You hear people say that a lot, right? It's just me and Jesus. No, God doesn't intend for it just to be you and Jesus, He intends for you to be a part of a community of people, the church, as they follow Jesus together. But then something else very significant I think we get out of verse 11 of 1 Thessalonians 5, and that is one of the most significant one another's that you'll find in the New Testament is this idea of encouraging one another, building one another up. Now, there's so many things that involves, but when the New Testament talks about encouraging one another as followers of Christ, it's a whole lot more than just, you know, have a nice day, boy, you look nice today, Uh, congratulations on that promotion, things like that that we say. Those are all good things. But when the New Testament talks about encouraging one another, it's talking about motivating other people to draw closer to Jesus. And so here's my challenge to you today. If you are a Christ follower, what are you doing to encourage other people? What are you doing? What are you going to do today to help move someone else or motivate someone else to draw closer to Jesus? Because that's what we're supposed to be doing with one another. And listen, life can be discouraging. There are all sorts of things that push us a little bit further away from Jesus. And so we need those relationships to keep pulling us back and saying, hey, here's Jesus. You need to stay connected to him regardless of what's going on in your life. And then my challenge to you, if you're not a Christ follower, would you consider Jesus and who he said he was and what he came to this world to do? He came to this earth to die in our place for our sin so that in Him we could find righteousness, so that we could be declared right with God based on what Jesus has done for us. And then He did that so that we could live in community with one another as we follow Him. One of the things that I find people need most right now in their lives, and it's really always been this way, but especially after the year we've been through, people need community. Well, that's what the church is. It's a community of people who have gathered together to say, you know, together we're going to do life, and together we're going to follow Jesus. And so if you're not a Christ follower, uh, consider following him today and plugging in to a faith family that the Bible calls the church. Have a blessed day. Lord willing, we'll see you later this week for another three-minute sermon. God bless.